Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Anar and I'm a self-taught software developer. And on this channel, I help you break into and grow in the tech industry. Today I want to talk about education and its relevance in software development. I see this question asked frequently in my comment section, so today I'm going to tell you exactly how education fits in when you are being evaluated for a software development role by a hiring team. This should give you the context you need to decide whether it's worth it for you to go and pursue a diploma or degree in software development, or whether it's not. Whether you have experience in software development from another country, or you perhaps completed some education program, like a formal bachelor's degree in another country, going back to school in Canada just to land a software development job is not necessary. If you have experience in software development, whether it be from another country or from Canada, that alone should be enough to land you a software development job. If you have a degree or diploma from another country and now you come to Canada and you decide to pursue a degree here as well, once you finish this degree and you have a Canadian degree, that's not going to make you a significantly better candidate. What would make you a significantly more competitive candidate would be to take this time that you're willing to dedicate to another degree and use it to gain some more experience. What I'm saying is if you're inexperienced, more education is not the answer. You want to get away from being a candidate with only education to being somebody with actual hands-on experience. Gaining some experience through personal projects, internships, or entry-level jobs is going to put the ball in your court. Now, while I did say that education is not necessary, there are some exceptions to this rule. Once in a while, you will see a job posting that has a requirement for a specific degree. This is very rare. What you usually end up seeing is a posting that requires a PhD or a bachelor's degree or a master's degree or equivalent experience. Now something I noticed is that this equivalent experience is actually given a lot of weight because even though I don't have a bachelor's or master's or any type of degree in anything software development related, I get contacted for these roles all the time. What this requirement really means is that if I apply for a job and you apply for the same job and somehow we have the exact same experience and the only major difference between us is that you have a computer science degree and I don't, then you might be chosen over me. Now keep in mind that if you are in a major city, the demand for software developers is high. So whether or not pursuing a degree to get this one extra point is worth it for you is something you're going to have to decide. The message I want to convey here is that if you are in Canada and you have education or experience from another country, I don't think it's worth your time to pursue education here again. If you are not getting calls back when you apply to jobs or you're not clearing interviews, it's very likely that it's something outside of your education and getting more education is just not the answer. At the same time, there is nothing wrong with pursuing a degree or a diploma. If you have the time and you have the money, it's a very traditional and proven way of getting into software development. Just remember that this is not a requirement and it is only one of many ways of becoming a software developer. I'm going to wrap it up here. Drop any questions you have in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next one.